Hi, and thank you for visiting my channel. For more information, kindly subscribe and follow. Now let's get started. Main Event JUSO has finally won a singles title in WWE. On the latest episode of Monday Night Raw, the YEET Master defeated Braun Breaker in the main event to crown himself the new WWE Intercontinental Champion. USO pinned Breaker clean after multiple spears, followed by the USO splash from the top rope. Jay capturing the title was an emotional moment for him and his fans. Now that main event has won the singles title, fans are eagerly waiting for him to reunite with Roman Reigns. There is a possibility that winning the Intercontinental Championship could be the first step for Jay USO to reunite with Roman Reigns and reassemble the OG bloodline. Tama Tonga and Tonga Loa are the WWE Tag Team Champions, Solo Sokoa holds the Ula Fala, and there are strong chances that the self-proclaimed Tribal Chief may ask Jacob Fatu to capture the IC title for the group. The new bloodline's potential feud against JUSO could open doors for the reunion of the cousins. The two founding figures of the iconic faction could resolve the differences to combat the common enemy. The reunion of Roman Reigns and the YEET Master would eventually lead to the Survivor Series War Games match between the new bloodline and the OG bloodline. JUSO reacts after winning the Intercontinental Championship on Raw shortly after winning the WWE Intercontinental Championship. JUSO was seen getting emotional as the show went off the air. Fans chanted, you deserve this, and multiple superstars reacted to his big win, such as Rhea Ripley, Damian Priest, Cody Rhodes, and many more. The main event USO shared his reaction on an Instagram post as well, stating that he told everyone that the singles title run was coming. Now that the tag team specialist has clinched the singles championship, it will be interesting to see how Triple H will book him on Raw and when he will reunite with Roman Reigns to reform the OG bloodline. Jay USO stood at the center of the ring on SmackDown, his chest heaving, his eyes glistening under the bright lights. The roar of the crowd was deafening. He had done it. After years of chasing, battling through pain, family drama, and relentless ambition, Jay USO had finally captured the WWE Intercontinental Championship. The title he now proudly held above his head was not just a symbol of his individual success, but a sign that he could stand on his own, away from the shadow of Roman Reigns. Yet, even in this moment of victory, there was a cloud hanging over Jay. The bloodline, the legacy of his family, the dominance of Roman Reigns, and the brotherhood he had left behind. The tension between Jay and Roman had reached a boiling point months ago when Jay finally decided to step away from the toxic environment his cousin had created. It was supposed to be a fresh start, a chance for Jay to prove that he didn't need Roman, that he didn't need anyone. And now, with the Intercontinental title in his hands, he had done just that. Or had he? As Jay raised the championship, his thoughts couldn't escape the looming presence of Roman. The tribal chief had taken a step back in recent weeks, recovering from injuries and regrouping after the collapse of the bloodline. Roman hadn't commented on Jay's newfound success yet, but Jay knew it was only a matter of time before the head of the table made his presence known. Despite all the pain and betrayal, there was still an undeniable bond between them. A bond that could be reforged if one major thing happened. Roman Reigns' offer of redemption backstage. Roman Reigns watched the television monitor as Jay's celebration played out. Paul Heyman stood nearby, his fingers twitching nervously, sensing the tension in the air. Roman's expression was unreadable, but his mind was racing. Jay's success was undeniable, and Roman, ever the strategist, saw an opportunity. We need him back, Roman finally spoke, his voice low but authoritative. Jay's stronger now. He's proven himself. But he's still family. Heyman, always quick to agree, nodded, but there was hesitation in his voice. But my tribal chief, Jay has made it clear he wants nothing to do with the bloodline. Roman's eyes darkened. He'll come back. He just needs the right push. And that push was coming. Roman's plan was simple but effective. 
He knew Jay's newfound confidence came from winning the Intercontinental Championship, but deep down, Roman believed that Jay's success was because of the lessons he had learned from him, the head of the table. Roman didn't just want Jay back, he needed him back to restore the dominance of the bloodline. But there was one thing that stood in the way, Jay's pride. Roman needed to find a way to bring Jay back without making him feel like he was submitting to Roman's will again. And that's when the idea struck him. A threat bigger than the bloodline the WWE Universe was about to witness something unprecedented. A new faction, one that had been brewing in the background for months, was about to make its presence felt in a major way. Led by a former world champion, this faction was intent on not only dethroning Roman Reigns, but also dismantling the entire Samoan dynasty that had ruled SmackDown for years. Rumors had been swirling about this faction, but no one expected them to strike so soon. After Jay's victory, during a celebratory segment on the following SmackDown, the arena went dark. A chilling theme echoed through the arena as the leader of the faction, a six-foot-eight, dominant figure with a vicious reputation, appeared on the Titantron. This isn't about titles. This is about erasing your legacy, the leader growled, his voice dripping with menace. J.U.S.O., Roman Reigns, the bloodline, it all ends with us. The camera zoomed in on Jay's face in the ring. The new Intercontinental Champion didn't flinch, but the tension was palpable. The faction had declared war on his family, and while Jay had stepped away from Roman, he was still part of that legacy. His blood, his heritage, was being threatened. And now, he had to decide, would he stand alone, or would he put aside his differences with Roman and reunite with the bloodline to fight this new enemy? The offer the following week, Roman Reigns made his move. In a rare in-ring appearance, Roman, flanked by Solo Sokoa and Paul Heyman, stood face to face with J.U.S.O. The tension between the two men was electric. The crowd could sense the weight of the moment. Roman didn't come to gloat or demand Jay's return. Instead, he offered something unexpected, redemption. You did it, Yus, Roman began, his voice steady but with a hint of pride. You won that title on your own. And I respect that. But there's something bigger happening here. They're coming for us, for our family. They don't care if we're fighting each other or if we're champions. They want to destroy everything we've built. Jay remained silent, his eyes locked on Roman, trying to decipher his true intentions. I'm not asking you to kneel, Roman continued, surprising everyone. I'm asking you to fight. Not for me, not for the bloodline, but for our family. For everything we stand for. The arena was silent as Jay processed Roman's words. This wasn't the same Roman who had demanded loyalty through fear and manipulation. This was a Roman who was vulnerable, aware of the real threat that loomed. Jay had fought so hard to escape Roman's control, but now, with their legacy at stake, he had to consider whether reuniting with his cousin was the right move. The decision Jay looked down at the Intercontinental Championship on his shoulder. He had earned this title on his own. But could he stand alone against a faction hellbent on destroying his family? Could he afford to let his pride get in the way of protecting the legacy his ancestors had built? The crowd waited with bated breath as Jay stepped forward, meeting Roman's gaze. I'll fight, Jay said, his voice strong and resolute. But I'm not doing this for you. I'm doing this for our family. Roman nodded, a hint of a smile tugging at the corner of his lips. The bloodline was not fully restored, but they were united by a common cause. And as the new faction loomed on the horizon, the WWE Universe knew one thing for sure, the bloodline, fractured or not, was about to face its biggest battle yet, and J.U.S.O.'s decision to fight alongside Roman Reigns could change everything.